Welcome back everybody. Here we have a bundle box of Wilds of Eldraine from Magic the Gathering. Now this is a step up from that uh, pre-order box that we opened last time. This one has 20 foil and 20 regular basic lands to help you out with your Magic the Gathering deck, including the life counter, alternate art, a card box for you to keep your cards, and eight booster packs. And these are set boosters. There are three different types of boosters. There's draft boosters, set boosters, and collectors, for those who don't know. All right. Oh yeah, I could already see the box. That's cool. Heck yeah. This as well. Know your role. <laughs> Young hero, royal, wicked, monster, and cursed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the gingerbread gingerbread man running for his life. That's freaking cool. Hey, let's see, let's get in this box. There is the counter. Oh, this one's bigger than though I got last time. It's like see-through. Oh, what? <laughs> this is the second time I find this kind of packaging and that's kind of new to me. Got the packs right here. And we have these punch outs for you to play with. Nice. That's cool. Of course, let's open these packs last. These are the lands, most likely. Oh no, what? Oh damn, they are, but there was a another card there. Oh, this, this is really cool. Oh, this is totally worth it if you want to bling out your deck. Oh, wow. These are all the foil cards. Heck yeah. I'm going to be using these right here. Because I run a green deck. That's freaking cool. You can see the mountains bottom portion right here. That's cool. All right. Now let me get my sleeve for this one right here. And so these will be the other regular ones. Yeah. For those who don't know how to cast spells.
No, blocking and attacking, sorry. <laughs> All right, you have to pause that, read it if you want. Let's get into these packs. Now, the reason why I say I did mention those different types of packs is because in my eyes, um, it's either set booster packs that I'm going to cop all the time, I'm, I'm thinking, or collectors. Ooh, there's an art card. Now these are also, it says 72 out of 81 from the Wilds of Eldrin art series. Also collectible. Ooh, nice. And another one. That's cool. Alright, let's zoom by these. I am trying to see if I can get or if I can find how to add. Because, you know, I'm just beginning, as you can tell. Um, to add graphics. And I could at least put up the price of cards or something. As I'm pulling them. Yeah, I saw that. And I thought it was cool, so... You know, maybe... Oh, look. If you all want to learn how to play. That's pretty cool. And here's the art card. All right. And this is 58 out of 81. Now, out of all of the expansions, uh, tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. Now, of course, I've been a little partial to the Lord of the Rings. I got a couple of items that I probably shouldn't have overpaid for. <laughs> Yeah, this just, those chase cards are just valuable. Ah, oh, minigame, magic minigame. You can pause that. Learn how to play. A little something something. Oh. Look at that. Nice. Okay, here we go. Now there is some nice surprises I've gotten. I checked the prices after the fact. And I think the most is a $40 card that I've pulled from one of these, oh. From one of these, uh, I think is the most I paid is $7 for a pack. Or like, um, this one uh, was 40 something dollars, if I'm not mistaken. And I did find this at my local GameStop. And that brings me to my other point of why I do enjoy Magic the Gathering as a, a collection base as well, is because they don't overprint things. I noticed that uh, from just a couple of weeks ago, some products that I had seen at my local GameStop, they're gone. And I asked if they were going to get any more, and they said they didn't know, but that usually when those things are gone, they're gone. So I believe that's one of the aspects, well, I mean, I know that's one of the aspects that um, has the value of Magic the Gathering cards as good as it is. 
as good as it stays. And to me, the art is just so much better than any other TCG. Ooh, nice. Yeah, because really, these... I would... Some of this art, I would pay to own a painting of, you know... And someone's most likely going to take this idea and run with it and make some prints. <laughs> I should have just kept that idea to myself. <laughs> but yeah, this, this, this stuff is great, man. All this magic, the gathering art is great. Freaking love it. Oh, wow. This one is signed. Sixty-eight out of eighty-one. That is freaking cool. Freaking freaking cool. I don't think I forgot to wish y'all a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. No matter where you are, I hope you're enjoying this. We have two more packs to go. And that's another thing, when we're talking about like getting some Pokemon cards or Pokemon packs and getting hits and stuff. Well, these are automatic. These these packs, the way they're, they're built, you know, just like um, the Pokemon packs, the specific amount of common, rare, or chances to hit something in this case, legendary, I believe. <clears throat> I forget the the rarity, how oh, they go, but yeah, these. I I feel like these have a lot better chances, especially for those of us who are collectors or some looking for something to flip. Which also brings me back to this specific set booster. Yeah. yeah. If you're just getting into this and you really just want to get cards to be able to play with or get to know how to play the game, have something to play with, then draft boosters are the ones you should buy. But if you're uh, like me, then these are it. This is somewhere in the middle. This is for collectors and you get a lot of playable cards. See what I mean? Look at this nice foil swamp. And then the collector's boosters are the most expensive ones because um, like the ones that I opened up in a prior video, those Lord of the Ring ones, um, yeah, they're all foils in there, all of them. And they have much more uh, rares or ultra rares or whatever. All right. That's it for today. I still have not opened this up. I am lagging it. It is coming up next. Stay tuned.